back to my channel, Button and Pip. I'm Adele, and my channel is all about my dressmaking journey. So if that's something you enjoy, please subscribe and pop back and have a look at my previous vlogs. Now, today I'm gonna to be talking all about my February makes, and looking at my pile next to me, it's been a really busy month, and I think because I had half term during uh, February, I managed to get a little bit of sewing squeezed in as well. So, let me first of all talk about what happened at the start of February. And if you've watched this vlog, you'll know what I'm on about. At the start of February, uh, I think the first weekend in February, I went up to the Manchester Sewing Bee, which was an amazing event run by Alex, who is also got her own channel. I'll pop a description down, no, I'll pop a link in the description box below for her channel. And it was just a whole day of sewing, and we went out and had fun. Now, I'm going to talk about the dress that I was actually wearing that day because I didn't talk about it in my vlog. And it is the lowest dress pattern from Tissuti Fabrics. So here's the pattern. Now, I didn't know anything about this pattern company or even this dress. And uh, So Your Own Wardrobe, my local shop, they put on their Instagram that they got these patterns in. And I was like, oh, I've never heard of those ones before. So I popped in on the school room, <laughs> and dangerously, that is, um, I just went, I fell in love with this pattern. It's the lowest dress. So it's a V-neck with um, sort of drop sleeves, and then it has this sort of panel here. It's really flattering, actually. Let me see. Oh, look, the line drawing there gives it a better description. Um, and I just love, absolutely love that it's midi length. It's fairly loose. It's just re it looks like a really comfortable dress. So it's the first time I've ever um, picked one of these patterns up, and they come with a little booklet that I've got loads of photos in. And I have to say, even though it was tricky in parts, I'll talk about where it was tricky. It's a brilliant pattern um, for a beginner. I think they describe it as maybe an intermediate. Uh, dress pattern, but I think if you're confident putting zips in then have a go at it Just go straight ahead now I didn't pick up any fabric in the shop about this because I knew I had something in my stash and it's not Quiet it is a very very bold print. So it's this beautiful Green fabric now. I think it's just a polyester. I picked it up on on the Manchester No, not Manchester the Sobrum meetup that I went to last year and I picked it up from Barry's Fabrics and I think it was a bargain for like two pound a meter and it seemed that it was the favorite of the day because the roll was just out and everyone was having a cut of it. So I picked up two meters of it and it was the perfect amount for this. I absolutely love it. And when was it? October last year, I admitted that I had never ever worn green before and I haven't looked back and it's a bit of a recurring story actually. Every time I say I don't like something, I try it and I love it. So I didn't like leopard print, I now love it. I didn't like green, now I love it. Um, I don't know what else is coming next. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else that I don't like. Avocados. I don't like avocados. I don't know if I'm going to love them. But yeah, I'll put a little video up of me actually wearing this. So like I said before, there was a little tricky part. So the side seams on the back piece are actually towards the back. If you look on that line drawing there, they're actually at the back, which completely confused me because me being a little bit overconfident, I just went, shoop, 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 put the side seams up. And it told me to leave one of the darts free, I think, on the left-hand side. And I was like, no, no, I'll just do that. Then I realised my mistake. So I had to undo my overlocking threads and I had to completely go back um, over what I'd done wrong. And that's where the thing is, because the zip actually goes into one of the bus, not the bus darts, the bodice darts. So it's a little bit strange how that is. But once I, I took my step back, looked at it clearly it actually is quite a clever way of putting my zip in so my zip goes in there it sits under the arm so it doesn't fully open but to be honest with you despite 
the picture showing that it's quite fitted around the waist. It's quite a loose fit and I cut out a size 10, even though I was between a 10 and 12, I cut out a size 10 and I think I could have even got a little bit smaller just at the side seams. I think I, I, I think I could almost do an eight, which is like, wow, I haven't been an eight for years. So yeah, or even just adjust. But the only problem is if I adjust the side seams, it's because it's sitting on a dart, it might be quite difficult to actually take it in there. So I'm not sure how, if I make this again, how I'd take that in but I love it I love it and yes it is polyester so it is a little bit warm and at the Manchester sewing beat I was absolutely roasting um I had to take my tights off I felt like um I just took my tights off when I went to the loo came back and I was just oh, so much better so yeah it's gonna be perfect actually for the summer and I realized to Suti Fabrics, I actually have a shop in Sydney. So when I go on holiday in the summer, I think I might pop along and have a look at their shop. So yeah, that was a lovely surprise. Now, whilst I was at the sewing bee in Manchester, I made up a pair of pyjamas and I love novelty pyjamas. So I picked this fabric up. So it's got uh, tomatoes, um, aubergines and broccoli. I picked this up from the Sew Up North Leeds meetup from the B&M Bargain. No, not B&M Bargains. B&M Fabrics. And I knew straight away what I wanted to make. Novelty pyjamas. I've got my um, unicorn pyjamas. I love them. So I went with the same thing again. A molly top from Sew Over It and the Stella Joggers from uh, the Tilly in the Book Stretch. No, Tilly in the Button Stretch Book. And I love them, absolutely love them. Now, I think I had two meters or a meter and a half of this, and I had to cut out all the rib, um, the cuffs and the neckbands from ribbing, but I actually really like that design. I think that looks really cool. But I've just got this out of the washing basket and this is gonna go on tonight. Actually, no, no, no. I was about to say, would it be weird me sitting here in my pajamas? I don't know. Oh, I just wish I would stay all day in my pyjamas. Does anyone else feel like that? Because I just love them. I love them. But yeah, absolutely love these. And I'll be making more pyjamas soon. I'm on the lookout for more novelty jerseys so I can make more funny pyjamas. Maybe I can make some shorts to go with the top for the summertime. Absolutely love those. And I wore those on the night, actually, in the hotel. I got straight in my PJs when we got in. So yes, that's what I've been doing at the start of the month. Now, I did a really good thing as well this month is I finally, finally finished a dress that I promised my friend uh, way back last year to make for her birthday. And I've been really nervous for making this one because like I've said before, I get really nervous and worried about making for other people purely because I know where the faults are when I make a garment and I can kind of forget about them. But when you're making for somebody else, those faults are noticed and I, I just worry that I don't live up to expectations that the dress is going to fit, that it's going to be as well finished as a ready to wear garment. And when you're making it as a gift as well, you kind of have that pressure on you. So we, we chose this fabric ages ago from Material Girl Laura. And this is for my friend, Laura, a different Laura. So yes, this is her dress. It is a workshop Lucy dress and I've made two of these. Um, this is a long version and a closed back version. But I've also, at the sewing weekend last summer, I made the shorter version with an open back right down to the waist version. And I love it. It is such a simple pattern. It has bust starts and then at the bottom, not at the bottom, at the waist, it has these lovely pleats, if you can see them. And it is such a lovely dress. And I wore my dress actually to school yesterday and some of the kids were saying, Miss, did you make that? And I was like, yep. And they were really amazed with it. And like I, like with my lowest dress, it's midi length and I, it's a style I really love at the moment. And it just skims over. So I really, really can't wait to give that to her. And I really, fingers crossed, it's gonna fit. I really hope, I really hope it is. But yeah, finally got round to that. I actually need to put a little label in it as well, make it a little bit extra special. Right, another make. So, 
This make was for the hack off. I'm not gonna talk too much about this. I filmed the vlog with Becky at the weekend and we're just waiting for some editing to get sorted before we can release that video. But what I'm gonna say is I did the molly top and it's still a top and I'm gonna wear it loads. So I'm gonna quickly flash it to you. And that's all you're gonna see. You're gonna have to wait to see that vlog. But I've got a lovely thing that I do need to show you check out this fabric so we filmed at crafty so and so because becky was doing a uh, workshop there so i popped into town because it's not far from me actually it's about half an hour drive to leicester from where i am so i popped in sat with her while she finished her bag in the workshop and while i was waiting i went and looked at some of the fabrics that crafty so and so have got and they've got an amazing range of um active wear because they've got my hand wardrobe patterns and they've got a whole active sort of pack of top and leggings and check out this oh, look how amazing this is and i kind of toyed with it i was thinking is it a bit too bright and then i thought no i'm going for it so i picked up just a meter but there's loads of it because i'm going to be making a bikini and I say bikini because I hate bikinis, but I've got a pattern and I really apologise. I don't know the name of this pattern. It came with my In The Haystack subscription back in September. But when I get round to talking more about this make, I'll, I'll bring up all the details. But I'll give you a bit of a rundown. It's a like a crop top, top, crop top, top. <laughs> I said that last time too. So it's a crop top and then high waisted full briefs because I am really conscious of my stomach, especially after having children. Um, I, I don't really like having it on show, but when we go on holiday, I'm going to make some swimsuits, but I also want to make some bikinis and I think this is going to be fabulous. I can't wait. I've just got to get some power mesh to go on the back, but I absolutely love it and I just think it's going to go... So yeah, can't wait for that one. Thank you, Crafty So and So. You've got an amazing range of active wear. Um, and I can't go without talking about the new book from ooh, Tilly and the Buttons. It is the Make It Simple book. Um, I wasn't sure, first of all, about buying this book simply because it's got loads of simple patterns and I wondered if I needed that because I've got loads of patterns in my stash that I was thinking, do I really need to have more patterns? But when Tilly and the Buttons, Tilly, did a live sort of look through the book, I fell in love with a couple of patterns in here and one of them I've got on now. This is the Bertha Cardigan and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. So it's a really slouchy chuck on cardigan with big cuffs and it's so cosy. And this is gonna be a Minerva make that's gonna be coming up soon. So it's some of their French Terry jersey. Again, in green, they call this petrol green. And I absolutely love it. The only thing I've got that I think I've made the mistake here is I've got a bit of a bubble, you see there? Because there's a little bit of a turn on this front piece that you have to do when attaching the neckband. And I don't know whether I've actually taken in enough for uh, the seam allowance, so I don't know whether to go back through that, but if anything, it's slouchy, so you can't really see it. So let me show you where that pattern is in the book. Here it is, the Bertha cardigan. And they also did like a block pattern version of this cardigan, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Check out that one. I love the colors. Of the block pattern i'm not sure on the thumb holes because i just don't know how practical that would be but how lovely is that one now the other one that really sprung out to me was a bit of a hack a bit of a change from one of their play suits sorry there we go it's the wrap front play suit now check out that there's the line drawing so that you can see it's a lovely relaxed fit it takes up two meters of fabric um and i'm just gonna love that because last year i really enjoyed wearing my play suits actually i made a couple and i think that's something i want to make more of this year i just find them really comfortable and a bit practical actually for running around in the summer but yeah i've 
I bought some fabric and I'm wondering whether to do this and just not even test it out, just go full out, try it because I, I do have faith in uh, Tilly's patterns that they always seem to fit, that they're a great make and yeah, oh look, here's another one. The easy fitting dungarees. And this time last year, I was all for more fitted clothes. Whereas I've found recently, I am all for more relaxed clothes, including jeans. Um, long gone are me wanting to wear skinny jeans anymore. I love like the boyfriend fit or the mum fit jeans. So I think actually I might have a look for a pattern like that as well. I think it's the Dawn jeans from Megan Nielsen that are a little bit more sort of relaxed fit. I really like that. But yeah, I love this book um so yeah even though tracing out can be a bit of a pain because all the patterns come in this time with this book they've actually got the pdf downloads but i was too impatient to even download it and print it off with the bertha so i just got at the table with my um greaseproof paper i don't even use any posh tracing paper just greaseproof paper made up my pattern and i love it love it love it but i'm just gonna sit here and be cosy <laughs> right so yeah february oh i haven't talked also about what i did during half term uh, at say Rome wardrobe we ran a little teenagers young designers club uh session for new sewists or even just young sewists that have some uh experience of sewing so we had three ladies come along three young ladies and one la uh, girl has already sewn her own garments before Another girl has sewn before, but ages ago, and then one girl had never ever picked, um, done sewing before or even touched a machine before. And they all went away with at least one little make, which is a little makeup bag or a tote bag. And one girl also made um, like a makeup brush roll, but she was going to use it for her pencils for art. So it was absolutely lovely morning. We did it for two and a half hours. They came up to the machines. We put some music on. I bought some sweets. And they just really enjoyed the time and the space um, to sew, which is amazing. So the lovely ladies at Sew Your Own Wardrobe have said that we're going to hold some more. So over Easter, I'm hoping to hold some more Young Designer Club sessions and also maybe over May half term. But yeah, that's going to be great to do. I really enjoyed that. And I came home really buzzing, actually, because I love teaching. I love passing on skills. And it was just great to see their confidence grow just within two and a half hours. And they were really shy to start with. And I'm really loud and just like blah, 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 all the way through. But it was really lovely to see their confidence grow during the, the session. And the one girl that had never sewn before, she was super chuffed with herself when she went. And, she, and I said to her, would you sew again? She said, yeah, I think I will. I think I will. So, yeah, we've got more young sewists. So, yeah, that's February done. Uh, what's happening in March? Oh, well, I'm making myself a Suki robe um, because I loved my stepmom's one that I've made for her birthday. So I'm going to make one for myself. And what else have I got plans? Nothing really at the moment. I kind of, I always have good intentions of planning and then the plans go out the window, something comes up and I just go, Wah! and I start sewing. So yeah, March, I think it's going to be a nice month, a nice relaxing month. But yeah, thank you ever so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope you're having a lovely day no matter what you're doing and getting some sewing done because that's what I'm going to be doing now after I've made the lasagna for tea. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>